Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be setting up a CUPS print server and then connecting a HP printer to said server and then attempting to print something up with it. But before we get any further, I would like to thank my channel members. These are Miss Love and Alex Exists. These people help support me and can support me for as little as £3 a month and they get a little badge next to their name when they comment on videos and also live streams. They get early access to videos like this one right here. So, let's get into the video. First things first, we need to connect to the device that's going to be hosting the CUPS server. Now, in my case, it is a Raspberry Pi Model 3B. So, what I'm going to do is just going to SSH that. And because I've already had got set up uh, keys, it's keyless login. So, this is a Pi 3 Model B Vision 1.2. So. It is a made in 2015 running a 6.1 kernel. So that's how good these things are. But first things first, we are looking for cups. So suit uh, system CTL status cups. And what this should give us is the cup scheduler and cups. So this is now set up and running. Now, if you want to log into this from anywhere at all, what you would need to do is to drop in this command. What this does, it does cups control, remote admin, remote any, anyone can do access the cups terminal, but only people with, only the people that know the admin login to the device. So in my case, the, the only user that's on here, the only one, only remote admins can connect to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. I will leave this in the description. And we're going to come back to the terminal. And we're going to paste this in. And what that's now done is it's changed the cup configuration to allow anyone that has permission to access this to access it over the network. But only admins can change, uh, uh, remove an ad print and change priorities. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the cups. What we have here is all as standard, all cup servers are on port 631. Now I haven't forwarded this, forwarded this or anything, but it's here. So if we just do a quick enter, we are now at the cups admin screen. Uh, cups is a standard based on developed by Apple for Mac OS. Yes, Alex, Alex, no, Apple actually developed an open source tool, although it's copyrighted five years ago now. So there's that. So to add this wonderful printer that I have over to my left to the software, we need to come to printers. It is a DeskJet 3700 series. It is a wonderful printer. Uh, first thing first, we need to click add printer. And what this is now going to do is it's going to ask the network, hey, what's here? And then it's also going to give you a choice of printers. Now, as we can see here, there is a HP DeskJet 3700 series. That is a 3721. This is correct. Now, we've got two choices. We've got 3CBF52 or driverless. Now, I'm going to set it up using driverless because screw drivers. Now, if we look here, because I currently have my printer set up open, we can see that the printer options is showing that printer. That's fine. But what we're doing is we're doing it so anything on the network can see this printer and print to it without needing any drivers. For instance, you could print stuff from your phone, which we will do as a demonstration. So location, we're just going to call this office as it's human readable. And then office shitter. Um, the reason why I'm calling it that is because it is... It is an oh so wonderful printer to set up. It took me four hours to get that set up because it's a HP bloatware. The entire printer is HP bloatware. Trust me, if you've ever had to mess with a desk jet, you know desk jets are just bloatware if in physical form. So it is important you click share this printer and then click continue. The reason why I'm able to do this is because I have logged into 
the cups already. Now you can access this. Anyone can access this from anywhere on the network, but only the administrator, only only an admin on the device itself can add or remove or change anything. But because I've already done this and logged in, we don't need to worry. But what we're going to do is we're going to go with HP DeskJet, uh, IPP everywhere. I could go cups filters, but when I first set this up, I did IPP everywhere and it works. So we're going to use IPP everywhere. And then we're going to click add printer. I'm going to have some of our strawberry milk. It tastes very nice. It tastes very much of strawberries, even though strawberries have no smell. And now I'm going to drink coffee out of my tea cup. Yes, I'm a heretic, I know. So what this is now doing is it's just getting this all set up. And we have a choice, media size of what it can do. But in this case, uh, we just want A4. If this was an American, it would be letterhead. It would be letter size for American printers. But we're just going A4. Regular stationery, regular mode of color, and the normal print quality. This is just like the base of the italics print. It does that. Now there's banners. There's a starting and ending banner. We can so it throws these out if we wanted to. So we could say, "Hey, look, print it being classified." Policies of error policy. It will retry the job if there's an error. And operation policies. But in this case, we just want. These are the default options. These are going to work. So now the printer has been added to cups. And we can see it's here. So if we were to come here, <laughs> we can now see it's gone. <laughs> we can now see the fact it's called Office Shitter Pie. The reason why it's got pie at the end is because that's the name of the devi device the cup server's on. But that's now called Office Shitter, which is funny. So what I will do is I'm going to come to my phone and I'm going to tell it to print something. Uh, I will show a screenshot of this. Um, tell you what, let's we'll use this. Uh, so we go share and then Bloody hell, Samsung, right? Print. I love this. Um, so, I don't know if you can see that or not, because I've only got one monitor at the minute, but this is giving me the option, and I will just take a screenshot to put it on the video. Uh, insert the screenshot now. And what we're doing is we're telling it to attempt to print a picture to Office Shitter. So if we refresh, uh, what this will do is it uh, jobs list in print order to held jobs first. So if we select all jobs, what we're we seeing is that is me that's just told the printer to print something. It's now attempting to do it. That date, that time's wrong, but it's fine. That's not going to print because it doesn't have any paper in it and it doesn't print at all at the minute. It just doesn't want to know. Like it inks on the page and then doesn't. It just needs severe repeating of the cleaning jobs. But that is how you add it. I could do anything from here. It, it is called office shitter. Like I couldn't resist. But in this case, it shows the standard policy. It's enabled. It's accepted jobs. It will retry. There are no starting banners. This is the access control. Just. All of this stuff that we've already set up is now shown here. And it doesn't show because it's HP. You need to have HP software to be able to see their levels. Now, what this has done is it's now reloading it and saying, hey, look, it's connected to the printer, but it's going to show a error. So active jobs, it's this. And it's going to throw a hiss because it's like, I don't know what's going on. I can tell you what's going on. There's nothing connected. But that is how you set up a printer using cups.
Uh, now, you could do this with any printer at all. You just need to do the initial setup. You might need a Windows computer to get it connected to wireless because that's how printers are these days. Gotta love them. And then you're off to the races. You can set up classes for various printers. Here you can go through this. We'll, we'll set this up in the future. But I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.